Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2. Let's fail at digging it. I mean Cortex Strikes Back. Let's die on the death path. That's what we should, yeah. Alright. None of this stuff is an issue for... Alright. So now we know where that B stops. Oh my god! Seriously! What have I got? Yeah, thanks, Aku. We get it. We get it. You're here to help. Makes perfect sense. I'm losing a lot of time just riding this stupid platform. Man. Crash, you're killing me here quite literally I'd like to finish this LP before I have grandchildren and keep in mind I don't even have children so grandchildren should be a ways off <laughs> see that was like the opposite of failing at the slide right there that was like not even really like sliding and then jumping is not the same as slide jumping. Lessons you learn watching Vertical Sandwich. Also, Arthur Conan Doyle was a big believer in spiritual and spiritualism, which was a trend in the uh, 1900s. And uh, his his good friend Harry Houdini was a famous spiritualist debunker. I mean, he obviously was the famous Harry Houdini and uh, they had a big falling out eventually because Conan Doyle became convinced that Houdini had supernatural powers oh come on that Houdini had supernatural powers and were hiding them from him you wouldn't listen to the fact that Houdini was like no it's all tricks it's all tricks and it was Houdini was Houdini was like a, a, an incredible influence on modern mus magicians like with the fact that, you know, before Houdini, Houdini was largely for kind of the honesty of magic. That like, the, that the illusion itself doesn't have to be, doesn't have to pretend to be real, to be interesting. That the illusion can be impressive as an illusion. You know, you can say to people like, this is all smoke and mirrors. And like, people will be impressed by the level of smoke and mirrors. I mean, don't get me wrong, Houdini was in himself incredibly impressive for his ability to, like, dislocate joints and regurgitate things um, that he had swallowed ahead of time, which is where he hid keys a lot of the time. I mean, just crazy stuff that, like... So the next time you're impressed by Chris Angel or whatever, just remember the level of commitment from Houdini's kind of swallowing keys on purpose thing dislocating his shoulders I'm not a big fan of the modern generation of kind of rock star magicians I'm also not paying attention to the game anymore I'm so kind of over how badly it's kicking my butt that which is a shame because I should be paying attention to the game. Because whatever, no matter what you think about the game, my only chance to win... Oh, come on! I wonder if I could jump to the side there. I can't believe how much trouble I'm having. See, that, that was a perfectly good slide jump I just did. Extra life. Got that guy's timing down. 
Oh my god! Seriously? Come on now. This is so sad. This is really sad. Like, I'm not even gonna pretend that, like, this is something... I don't know, maybe I should talk about Houdini more. Spiritualism. Now, who did I say? Did I say Arthur Conan Doyle? Because it was Arthur Conan Doyle and Houdini who had the friendship. Not Thomas Edison. If I said Edison, like... So I don't have to slide jump to get there. It's good to know, I suppose. Um, the, uh, yeah, it was Arthur Conan Doyle, the writer of Sherlock Holmes, which, he was also famously fooled by the series of, um, f photographs of little girls with fairies that is now an unadmitted hoax. I mean, a lot of that stuff now is proven hoaxes. One thing you should know about me is I'm, you know, I... I majored in a social science. I'm a, I'm I'm a ridiculous skeptic. I'm a skeptic to the exclusion of everything else when it comes to the paranormal and things like that. I've been on ghost hunts with ghost hunting teams and stuff too, like and just don't and have seen some really creepy stuff. Uh, but just believe that just because we can't explain something doesn't mean that it's necessarily miraculous or paranormal. That's just my thing. I'm right there with James Randi. Okay. Easy to get through there if you're not a maniac about it. Finally, that part is done. Awesome. There was eventually a checkpoint on the death path. Good to know. Okay, and there's our death path gem. All right. Taking this, and then I'm going to go back. Jeez, really? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> You're an idiot, Crash. Come on, really? I gotta jump around these like they're nitro boxes? That's ridiculous. Funny. Funny stuff. But at least when we get on the tile area, we can, uh... We can jump into it. I was going to say, shouldn't he swell up? It doesn't look like a death to me. It just looks like a trip to the emergency room. He just needs an EpiPen. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it, Crash. Jeez. Okay. I don't hear any bees. Doesn't mean there aren't any. Should have cleared out that beehive when I had a chance, though. All right. Okay. Oh, apparently, 
The bees have no interest in killing us until we get up to their hive. What? What happened? We were doing well. I was doing well. Nice. Insta-death. Beautiful timing there. Very proud of that. <gasps> I didn't see him! Oh, come on, Crash. Enough with the swelling up. Really. It's theatrical the first time. Then after that, it's just ridiculous. <gasps> uh... Made it through just fine when I wasn't trying. Oh, I just got to run through that one, I think. Yeah, like that. Okay, let's not shoot ourselves back at the bee. What? I spun, it knocked, it blew up the mine. And then, uh, yeah. Then the rest is history, I guess. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now we just go back. Yeah, I get it, bees. They're a real problem. All right. There we go, good. Fantastic. Okay. While we're under here, we're safe, at least for a minute. Okay. Oh, I can't kill the beehive that way. That's a shame. Seems like you should be able to. All right. Master Nitro. All right. Oh, these are the hit you underground guys. That's right. Don't necessarily have to worry about them too much. Whew, I lucked out there. Did I not? Alright, I'll take it. If that means a gem. Oh, man. That was the hardest work we've had to do yet, I think. But again, uh, now we're cleared out of that level. It took forever, but we did it. <laughs> it's done. It took... 20 hours, but it's done. I don't know if that's the actual time for the Simpsons quote I'm doing. We have to shoot the Jiminy Jillica seed again. All right. Fantastic. Dig it. What do we got? Cold hard crash. Still the, the bane on my existence. Ruination. Behaving. A whole other B level. Looks like there's a color gem in behaving, though. Uh, all right, everybody. All right. Uh, when we come back, so help us more of this. Bye, everybody. <laughs>